Hello, hi. I can't tell if it's on. Is it on? Can you see anything? No, but I can hear my voice. It's not on. Are you sure the little thingy says it's on? It's not on. God damn it. You got it? Yeah, I got it. It's still not on. I don't got it. Here, let me see. Fuck off. It's right there. Fuck off. Ow! Watch. Watch what I'm don't doing. Don't touch it. I'm not touching it. Don't. You are touching it. I see you. I'm watching you touch it right now. How did you do that? Hey, look at that. How did you do that? The little red button on the side, right where the little red button always is. I pushed the little red button. You didn't push it. I pushed it. Well, I loosened it. Isn't this your camera? <sighs> Fuck off. Howdy. Hi, yes, hello. So, for those of you who might be watching, my name is Mark McConnell and this is Alan Stevens. We are graduate students in the physics department at the University of... That's probably enough. Okay. A couple weeks ago, we embarked on, uh, well, an, ex an experiment, and it went a little out of control. We? Yes, we. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. You were there. I was present when it happened. That's not the same. This was your idea. All right, just get it over with. So, uh, we embarked on this experiment. Went, well, it caused people. Everybody went bug fuck. Yes, thank you. Everybody went bug fuck. And so we uh, thought that we would take this opportunity while we still had it to tell you, the world, how very sorry we are and to explain our side of the story. So, yes. We are very, very sorry about what happened. Do you have any jerky? Are you kidding me, Mark? Sorry. Are you shitting me? Sorry, it's not my fault. I know it's not your fault. Anytime you're ready, Alan. I'll relax. You won't relax. I won't relax. See? Do you know how much professorial ball I had to fondle just to get you this presentation? I'm guessing the usual amount. We're ready now. Are they ready for us? Oh, they're ready now. They were also ready 20 minutes ago when you were supposed to be here.
Nice of you to finally join us, gentlemen. I'm so sorry, Professor Lynch. Let's hurry it up. Fuck me. What now? Do you have time for that? Did tell me that Katie was on the panel? Awesome. What's the problem? Just tuck your boner under your belt and you'll be fine. You know, with that beard, you look like a genie. Why do you always have to make things personal? Like a bald genie. That goes without saying. Gentlemen, please. To the panel, I apologize for the delay. Unfortunately, my esteemed colleague, despite the considerable financial support he's been given by this university, still elects to drive around campus in a crank-activated car built during the Battle of Appomattox. It's not that old. I don't know why he does this. Why don't we take your DeLorean next time, you super silly fucker? To that end, we are proud to submit for your consideration and Hopefully, anyway, because I'm tired of this bullshit. Eventual funding, the Stevens McConnell Alternate Field Generator. Obviously, we're looking for a better name. Really? You're five. You are five years old. Press the power button and let her hair is up there. Who Let's gives go. a shit where the projector That's is? Where you point. This is the power button. Gentlemen. Um, since we don't want to take up any more of the university's time than we've already wasted, I just am going to cut straight to the chase. Not wasted, though, necessarily, because I do believe, technically, that the uh, practical applications of this machine will far outweigh any amount of... Mark. Yeah. Sorry. So... In essence, the Stevens-McConnell alternate field generator attempts to create a new form of clean, renewable energy by utilizing M-theory-based principles in order to launch a five-dimensional sail that does not interact with our physical reality. Um, the machine basically functions as an anchor point for this sail, thus harnessing these interdimensional forces much in the same way that a turbine would harness uh, falling water. Only ours has no moving parts, as you can see on I'm slide three. Right there. Sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Stevens, but I just, I really- McConnell. I'm sorry, Mr. McCulloch, but I don't understand how this device could work, uh, even theoretically. We have um, more slides. Yeah, well, technically it doesn't function yet, but that's why we're here. How long have you been working on this device? Uh, well, I seem to recall a similar presentation on a similar device two years ago. Yes, that was mine. I also seem to recall that that device did not focus on renewable energy, but rather on long-distance radio. Yeah, uh, that device, um, well, technically uh, speaking, that is true. Well, so uh, in the intervening year, you have failed not only um, to produce a functional prototype of the original device, but in repurposing it? I wouldn't say f it's a failure uh, per se, say that we, we, we're more guilty of simply refocusing the project as opposed to... That's all very commendable, Mr. McConnell. But I'm afraid that I agree with Professor Lynch on this matter. Well, if you just let me finish the presentation... I think we've seen enough. Now, wait a minute. You didn't let us finish. Let us finish? Yeah. Wait, what are you implying? I seem to recall when you were in my uh, advanced particle physics lab, you, uh, you were more interested in the experience of college than you were in the intellectual opportunities it offered. In my defense, you are incredibly boring. Ow. I think we're finished here. If you would just hold on a moment. You can't keep your mouth shut for 10 I'm sorry, would you please? No, not fuck them. Do you have any idea the kind of equipment that we need to get this thing up and running? I've paid for everything so far, haven't I? Yes, you have, and I'm grateful, but the stuff we need now is serious shit. It's the kind of shit that if purchased privately, we'll make sure we don't ever get on an airplane again. Serious, turn your keys at the same time kind of shit. We need these people. Look, if you want to get your money back, then help me get this thing up and running, because right now, we don't have a clean energy reactor. All we have is a two-ton paperweight. Mark? Hey. Hey. Sorry about all that. It's okay. It's not your I fault. I know, but still. It's Alan's fault. 
Huh. I'm going to clean up the presentation if you two want to spend the next couple minutes thinking about each other's squishy bits. He seems upset. He's not, actually, which is a huge part of the problem. You know, I've seen some of the work you've done for the university. You're a really bright guy. You could be in any graduate program in the West if you wanted. Why do you stay here? Piece of dog shit. Red, not green. That one you can push. Thanks. I guess I'm just comfortable. I can understand that. But if you want to get anywhere in this field, you have to learn when to abandon an experiment that just doesn't work. Good luck to you. Really. Tough break, buddy. Fuck you. Chick's got an ass like an apple. Please die. I want you to be dead. Spectacular. Look, Chad, I know. You know. Yeah. I'm not sure you know. I don't think you know anything, frankly. This kind of shit I expect out of him. But not you, man. Take it easy. Hey, screw you, Alan. You may think this whole thing is some big joke, but some of us have actual careers that we're looking to jumpstart with meetings like this. Kiss my ass, Chad. You never wanted any part of this, not even from the beginning. You're right. I did. But Mark asked me to do this. You asked me to do this. I put my ass on the line for you on this one, just like last time. You know what? There won't be a next time. Not after this horse shit. Come on, man. Fuck him, Mark. I swear to God. That's your answer for everything. Fuck him. Well, there he goes, Alan. Another person that we need, and he's gone because you can't keep your trap shut for ten fucking minutes! I'm going to the lab. Smells like Jason's hard at work. It smells like it, too. Ladies first. if he thinks we're actually at Harvard. Oh, considering the fact that I'm the only person with the technical expertise necessary to keep this thing operational, I'd say no, it could be louder. Uh, that is the most coherent thing I've ever heard you say. And since when is this thing ever operational? Don't be a dick. A bigger dick than normal, obviously. I hope you get that disease from contagion. Why is he a dick? Why are you a dick? What happened? How's this thing looking? Stable, I guess, and that it still doesn't work. Seriously, guys, how'd the meeting go? You are decidedly less relaxed than a man with more THC in his blood than blood should be. Jesus, are these fucking Doritos? I told you not to eat down Those here. Are bugles. Well, they're inside my keyboard. Where's Andrew? Getting more bugles. Look, you can't leave shit lying around or we're gonna get mice in here. No, we won't. Yes, we will. I saw a mouse last week. Yes, I did. How long has it been gone? Uh, I'm not sure. Are you even sober enough to answer that question? Mm, I'm not sure. There's a decrease in feedback in the left quarter quadrant. I told you that yesterday. You said it would be fine. No, I said it would be fine once we picked up a few things. So... We're not getting those things now. All right, seriously, guys, what happened? At least now we have pretzels. I didn't get pretzels. Should I have gotten pretzels? No, you're fine. I can go get pretzels. It appears you've emptied out the contents of the snack aisle already. This looks bad. It's gotten worse, actually. I, I told you it would. These pads weren't meant for this level of containment. So how'd the meeting go? It didn't. Didn't what? Go. What does that mean? It means the same thing that it always means. We have no usable data. 
no functioning equipment, and Alan is an inveterate smartass. It means that I've spent the last three years and most of my money... Your money? I think we should let him keep rolling here. Shouldn't we be wearing goggles? Like, instead of spending my college days finger-banging freshmen and dropping ecstasy like any red-blooded American male, I've got this thing! Mark, here we go. What are you doing? Is that a Charleston shoe? Heavens, no. <laughs> I think you made your point, Mark. No, I don't think I have finished making my point. No. My retinas beg to differ. Will you shut the fuck up? Hey, Mark. Is this whole thing a joke to you? You fucking asshole, is it a joke? Maybe we should Calm down. Here. Calm down? Fuck you! Last six years of my life, I've been trying to get my life up and running for when I leave here, and you've just been pissing in my ear the whole time. I've never once heard you complain. Well, you're hearing it now. I've put nearly 10 grand into this fucking thing. You really think I don't take it seriously? Well, 10 grand? Your parents would give me any way, Alan. And you cost there. me my education, you fucking prick! You never gave a shit! You, you, you've just been bored! Now all I can do is salvage whatever's left of my physics career. And hopefully you can salvage this piece of shit for scrap. Mark. Fuck you, shut it down, I'm done. How much of that did you hear? The floor is not made of depleted uranium, dude. Depleted uranium is soundproof? I don't know. Anyway, what have you two been doing up here? Hoochie <laughs> mama. I bet you wish you bought those pretzels now. Don't upset him. This environment is stressful enough after your little lover's quarrel down there. Am I gonna die? What did you give him? I don't know. Found it in my pocket. Is he in there? Yeah. Fuck. All right. See ya. Just breathe. Afraid to. No, thanks, man. Look, we'll talk tomorrow, okay? Okay. I'm gonna go put some tacos in Andrew before he eats your drapes. Fuck, I keep seeing them. Andrew! I have drapes. chewing on any wires down there or I'm going to make a tiny pair of mittens out of you!
Basically, as many tacos as you can legally give me. That many tacos. Do you want any? I have vampire hands. Yeah. Well, of course you do. Okay, that happened. Where the fuck? some sort of quantum connection between the pads. The power surge required to generate energy on that level is tremendous, so I'm positive that the local transformers weren't involved, otherwise I'd be explaining this during candlelight. <laughs> uh, it had to be the chemical structure of the materials in the pads. I'm still trying to find that order summary from the offshore guy who sold us that shit. What was his name? I mean, the math behind this would blow your fucking mind. It's certainly blown mine. If you think about it, the anchor point did pretty much exactly what we built it for, except we only ever configured it for output. The cascade effect was still pretty properly harnessed by the sail, but when coupled with the biological material, well, I don't need to tell you. It is incredible. I have never before imagined it. Yes. Could you maybe... What happened here exactly? Because it looks like your basement is menstruating. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever you're ready. I was in the woods. Okay. No, I mean, I was here with the mouse, and then the machine malfunctioned, and then I was in the woods behind the bioengineering department. What mouse? There's mice? Forget the mouse. The mouse is unimportant. What's important is that I was here on the pad, and then, and then I was in the woods. Wait, what? You were on the pad? Yeah. You were on the pad when the machine was on? Yes. Okay, I... I realize that I don't possess the same level of expertise as you do regarding the basic operation of this thing, but I'm pretty goddamn sure just from watching it that if it was even remotely functional, it would have blasted you into cat food. Okay, look, I, I know we had our little fight earlier, and you're probably still upset, but I'm not gonna fall for your stupid jokes. This is not a joke, Alan. That's enough. What are you doing? You never listen to me. You never have, so I'm just gonna have to show you. No, what, what the fuck, Mark? I'm not gonna let you play a game of chicken with a homemade reactor. All right, so, so forget it. You win, I'm sorry, you win. Do you know where the fire pit is behind the Anderson building? Yeah. Okay, get there as quickly as you possibly can. Why? This next part gets a little messy.
shit. Mark! No. <laughs> you asshole! You worming, manipulative <laughs> piece of shit! You scared the hell out of me! Stop with the shaking. The shaking doesn't help. <coughs> <coughs> You see what we've done? It works. We can teleport. Fuck my ass. We can teleport. We're gonna have to tell the guys. This is horseshit. Just give it a second. You'll see. Every time you say you'll see, something bad happens. You're already scaring the boy. Not a boy. You know, I'd love to sit and frolic in the meadow with you ladies all day, but I have a committee Just meeting. Just give it a second. You'll see. I'm leaving. Here it comes. Ah! <gasps> Holy shit! You okay, buddy? No. Well, you don't look it. Holy oh, shit. That's terrible. You said that. I hate that. Hey, fuck me. Oh my god. Yeah, I told you. It looked great. This is amazing. Oh, God. What's with the mess? You guys always make me clean. Did you record the data? I plugged in the external, but two terabytes is not going to do the trick. It's temporary. I'm sure we can steal something. Do you guys realize the practical application of this thing? Do you? Do we have a sponge? I'm going to need a sponge. That's what security deposits are for. Mm, this shit might have set into the walls. Your landlord's going to think you're a serial killer. Mm, if he doesn't already. Huh? You look like a serial killer. Huh. Think about it, seriously. The amount of government contracts we could bring to this university. It's staggering to think what we could do with technology like this. We're not ready for any of that. I'm not ready for any of that. I'm not even entirely sure I know how this thing works. How many times have you used it? Twice? Three times. Three times? That's repeated success over multiple tests. That's verifiable data. Look, let me talk to some people. No, Chad. I'm not ready for that. Not until I figure this out. Why? I just do. Okay, we ready? I guess. Back me up on this, Alan. Okay. I'll keep a lid on it for now. Just keep this thing functional. And try not to kill yourself. I gotta get back. You know I'm right. You can get your money back. And more. I don't know how he can focus on anything else right now. Well, he has something that you don't. Or he lacks something, anyway. Soul, moral scruples. Testicles. Testicles. Several things, really. <clears throat> All right, I got to set up the way you want it. What's the plan? OK, so every time I've used the machine, I've wound up in the same spot. And? And I checked our technical specifications, and I found a slight dissimilarity in the radium component. Radium? Fuck me, there's radium in this goddamn thing. Yes. Where the fuck did we get radium? Yo. I'm sorry we didn't tell you. Why didn't you tell me? You would have told us not to, right? Well, considering what we're doing here, it's probably best for all mankind that all of us are more than likely sterile. Cute. Anyway, there's a weight differential of 0 0.03 micrograms towards the second quadrant, which when you compare with the length of the pulse, you do the math. Gives us a rough sense of direction and distance. I'm buying what you're selling. Okay, so I'm assuming that what I just installed can readjust those components. Yep, so all we need is a test dummy. Oh, come on. Nose goes, right? No way. 
I don't need any more cancer than you guys have already given me. Fuck that. All right, you pussies. I'll do it. All right, where am I going exactly? Backyard, probably. Good enough for me. All right, fire up. Uh, I shouldn't be here. Come on, where's your sense of adventure? This gets messy. So you've said. Probably not. Yes. Yeah. Let's give it a second. Fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, thank God. Okay. How was that? <laughs> really unpleasant. Did anyone see you? Some birds, maybe. Try to scare the shit out of him. Well, the machine works. Who's next? <clears throat> or, more importantly, where do you want to go? I just want to catch you before you went off to wherever you're going. Upstairs, to Wyman's office. Oh. Aren't you supposed to be in Manderley's class right now? Yes, I am. And now you're not. No, I'm not. You're just sort of hanging out. Yeah. To catch up with me. Uh-huh. 
Is this about the other morning, the presentation? The presentation? No, uh, no, kind of, yeah. I mean, a little. It... You know, I really can't help you with that. I have no influence over either of those two. I'm just there to observe and take notes. No, it's not about that at all. Well, you just said it was. I mean, it is about that, kind of. But I really it... can't help you, Mark. I wish I could. <laughs> you guys really shot yourselves in the foot there. You had one hell of a performance. Was it really that bad? I've only seen one worse, and those guys grew a human ear on an eggplant. Awesome. Okay, well, anyway, I just wanted to catch you, uh, to, uh, ask you something. I assumed it was something, yes. <laughs> it definitely is something. Um. Mark. Yes. Do you want to take me out tomorrow night? Yes, that would be lovely. Then let's go out. Great. See what I did there? Yes, that was markedly simpler. <laughs> I really had no exit strategy. You had no entrance strategy either. No, I didn't. <laughs> You were like a turtle on its back. <laughs> so, can I ask you if you had something in mind for tomorrow night, or will your shoes explode? Yes, as it turns out, I did. Hmm. Have something in mind. He is not getting the deposit back. No, he is not. Have you gone for a test drive yet? <sighs> I haven't worked up the courage yet. You? I'd rather hook my nipples up to a car battery. I heard you actually did that once. Howdy, boys. Howdy. You're awfully chipper. We are going out tomorrow night. All of us? Because I'm going to need to find an ID. No, me and Katie. Who's Katie? Apple ass? She prefers Katie, and yes. I'm confused. That's to be expected. Well, congratulations, buddy. You've just discovered an entirely new field of science. It's about time you lost your virginity. Go to hell. How's our baby doing today? What do you think, I know how this fucking thing works? I'm just here to raise our sex appeal. Wait a minute, look at these numbers. Have you guys been using it? I haven't, and Alan's afraid of it. Normally, I would defend my masculinity at this point, but he's absolutely right. I am afraid of it. Terrified, in fact. I don't even know I'm in the room. The data we're generating is incommensurate with the number of entries in the log. You can say incommensurate all you want. Neither of us is used. Well, I know I haven't. I'd say you found your discrepancy. Why is everyone using big words? Stop it. Jason? Yes, sir. Please tell me that you are not holding two giant baggies full of drugs. I'm not holding two giant baggies full of drugs. Where did you get them? It's probably better for everyone if I just didn't say. Jesus. Works for me. How many times have you been using it in the last 24 hours? Five. You're lying. Twelve. Maybe. I lost track. The fucker hurts. Hey, I thought you said no cell phones down here. I did. Alan, turn that shit off. God damn it. I gotta answer this. Play nice. Oh, we will. I brought friends. Yeah, that's probably the best place for those. On top of the expensive equipment that shoots sparks and catches shit on fire. <laughs> Jesus, Andrew! What do you know? I did set those correctly. There you are. You are a persistent motherfucker. Well, I had to get your attention. Where are we? What is this? I set up a meeting. You set up? With who? Whom? 
A meeting with whom? What are you, my fucking English professor? With whom, Lord Byron, am I meeting? Look, I couldn't let you just sit on this. Or rather, I couldn't let Mark just sit on this and you tag along. You're not answering my question. I had to call in a lot of favors to set up this meeting. I need you oh, to be on your best behavior. Really? I don't think it's too much to ask for you to be on your best behavior. It's not that, Chad. Who did you tell about the machine? I didn't tell them everything. Them? Jesus Christ. It's just a preliminary meeting. And you chose me to represent the group. Me with my goddamned stalwart reputation for respecting authority. You technically own it. I own the components, Chad, which you fucking know. Mark crunched the numbers, and Jason built the thing. Oddly enough, I don't see either one of them here. Yeah, but, um... You technically own it. This is some backhanded, oily bullshit, and you fucking know it. You're asking me to go behind everybody's back. And what's their plan for it, huh? To just zip around town buying Slurpees until Mark's house burns down? Now we're sitting on a gold mine in that basement. We don't even know how it works. Well, the people inside, they got people that know how it works. They got all kinds of people. They got people just sitting around looking at other people. Come on, just go upstairs. If you don't like it, you don't have to say anything. You know, you can't stuff the cat back into the bag, asshole. How's it going? What's up, homie? You must be Mr. Stevens. Good afternoon, sir. I'm Robinson. Where are the rest of you? I'm sorry? The other people. I thought there would be more people. Oh, it's just me today. We like to make our potential clients feel comfortable. Too many suits in the room is intimidating. Not the, the atmosphere my company wants to create. Yeah, the empty building and the two Olympians in the hallway really bringing out the light and fluffies. Hmm. You're irritated. A little, yeah. That's understandable. Please sit. Admittedly, our little operation does seem a bit sinister at face value, but I assure you, Mr. Stevens, it's perfectly innocent. You can call me Alan. Hmm. That's what I like to hear. I'm only comfortable being called Mr. Stevens when I'm being fingerprinted. Does that happen to you very often? Something tells me you already know the answer to that question. What do I call you, Mr. Robinson? Robinson, it's fine. And the company you work for? We'll get there. <laughs> Did I say something funny? No, no, it's just, uh, <laughs> I can't believe this shit happens in real life. This shit, what? Like clandestine corporate shit. Can we just get to the part where you try to get under my sweater? Because my parents are expecting me home from prom by 11, Bobby. Can I call you Bobby? Bobby Robinson? Very well. Your associate, Mr. Harlan, has brought a recent project of yours to my attention. Yeah, you could call it that. Granted, what he told me seemed a tad Ray Bradbury for my taste, but he went through channels that ensured that my attention would be grabbed in a most urgent way. And Mr. Harlan has been lucrative for us in the past. No, he is a sneaky little fuck like that. Now, what he told me was so incredible, so uh, very much beyond the pale, that I would be remiss, not only as a representative of my company, but also as a rational human being, if I did not spend a little time on the due diligence. I could listen to you talk all day. I'm not entirely sure what you and the others have built in that basement, Alan. But it's raised a few red flags in a few domestic organizations that you really don't want combing through your tax returns. Don't worry about it too much for now. We don't play with those folks. I myself am a firm believer in the awesome might of American free enterprise. And if I may speak personally, I'm to understand that your family gathered their own considerable wealth based on that same belief. I know that you've paid for the whole enchilada, Alan. I can understand how you must feel with so much success at your back. The constant expectation of greatness on your shoulders. 
I'd be quick with a dick joke, too. You don't know shit. Maybe I don't. Those components that you've purchased, along with a quick peek at your power bill and a few scientific measurements that I couldn't possibly explain if you put a gun to my head, have led a few of my lab boys to think that you may be onto something. Not necessarily what Mr. Harlan claims you have, mind you, but uh, you can consider our interest sufficiently piqued. What makes you think I'm selling? No, you aren't. This is just a friendly meeting between two like-minded men. There's the door. We'll be in touch. That is one hell of a sales pitch. Oh, we haven't even gotten to the numbers yet. If what your associate says is true, you'll be the man who sold the most important scientific discovery in human history. If you're not full of shit, of course. We'll be in touch. Hey, how'd it go? Alan, whoa, hey, ease up. I should kick the shit out of you. I'm sorry? I should kick the shit. No, I heard that part. What happened in there? Where did you find that guy anyway? Is there some J. Crew catalog for aspiring princes of darkness? Robinson? Ah, he's harmless. I, I guess. You mostly. guess? We've worked together before. He keeps me in the comic book money. Do you know anything about him? Anything at all? I make it a point not to. Look, I've been setting up students with corporate contacts for four years now, okay? This is what this I do. This is not what we need this right now. This is what I do, okay? And trust me when I tell you that every other name on my contact list would have laughed the moment I told them about our little experiment. Robinson is the guy you go to with stuff like this. He's Satan. Who gives a shit? You're much more animated during dinner. And we were talking about school. So? So physics and university politics are the only two subjects I can discuss with any intelligence. I doubt that. Was that a polite comment? Beg your pardon? It's just this whole evening has been comprised of a series of tiny moments where you, a considerably beguiling woman and well aware of it, have tried to make me feel like a jackass whenever possible. <laughs> well, if you got it, flaunt it. Not that I don't appreciate it. I spend most of my time in a basement full of guys. Ooh, it's considered bad date protocol to admit you're gay after the dessert. It's typically done during the appetizer. Yeah, see, there you go again, that's perfect. <laughs> and since we were eating hot taco for appetizer, I figured that coming out of the closet then would have been a little disingenuous. <laughs> I apologize for the stereotypical date. You're doing better than you think. Nothing. I honestly don't know what to think of you, Mark. I really don't. Well, I could give you a couple things to think about. My NFL career, for example. <laughs> I'm being serious. You're a, a weird guy. Ah, you sure know how to make a man feel wanted. Oh, not like that. I... So, I'm getting the feeling that this is just part one. You are correct. Do you see that? That building? That mountain. Yes, I see the mountain. Do you know how to get to the top? Yes. Meet me there in like 30 minutes. Why? It's a surprise. Does this surprise involve me putting lotion on the skin? No, it's perfectly harmless. <laughs> so you say. Come on, if I were really a serial killer, do you think I would admit it that quickly? Or that wasn't the right thing to say. It was, it was the wrong thing to say. Sorry. I don't know if I have time for this. Why? Why not? It's getting late. It's only 7, 7.30. I don't know. Look, half an hour, that's all I need, I promise. This wasn't where I expected my night to go. Yeah, I already showed you where you expected the night to go. Now I want to show you something that you have never seen before in your life, I promise. Fuck it. Cool. Let's go. Okay. <laughs>
Good evening. Since when do you smoke? Since about the time we invented human teleportation. Seemed reasonable. Are you old enough to smoke? Blow me. Ooh, we're in a mood. It's been a long day. Yeah, tell me about it. Oh? How'd it go with Katie? How's it going in there? You didn't answer my question. No, I didn't. Wait. What? There's a bit of a situation inside. <sighs> what kind of situation? It's Jason. Yeah, of course it is. He's been using the machine constantly, and I mean constantly, for stupid little shit. What kind of stupid little shit? And aren't you supposed to stop him? You try stopping him. Seriously, try it. Motherfucking impossible. What kind of stupid shit? Well, this morning he used it to try out the executive washroom at a law firm downtown. Of course he did. And this afternoon... I'm not entirely sure where he went, but he came back with a knife wound and a parakeet. Jesus Christ. There's more. There's more? There's more than exotic pet theft? Says he didn't steal it. What else? Well, the machine seems to have fucked up his body chemistry a little bit. A lot bit, really. How a lot bit? You're not really going to believe me when I tell you, but I'm going to say it anyway. This has got to be a joke. It's very much not a joke. What? Out with it. Unless I keep him pumped full of ecstasy, he starts bleeding all over the place. A lot. Well, that is a thing you just said right there. Yeah. I've been babysitting him all day. It has not been fun. Where is he? He's in the lab. He's in the... From Valhalla. I told you oh, to stop buddy. electrocuting yourself. Oh, There's a pattern in the lights. Oh, I'll shit. take your word for it. Jesus. Is everything okay down there? You let him reprogram the machine? It seemed like he knew what he was doing. The floor here is really smooth. <laughs> me. I wouldn't do that. He told you not to do this. You burnt out piece of shit! What the fuck did you do to my machine? She was hurting. I could see it on the monitor. She? There's a feminine energy. It was you tight like a womb. He's angry. I'm also sensing that. Oh, fuck. You've ruined everything. No, I haven't. I fixed her. How could you have possibly fix her? You have no fucking rave! You couldn't correlate the feedback data from the core quantum matrix, right? No. No, I couldn't. Some of the wires were crossed to the seventh processor, cheap equipment you had Allen buy, which is why the activation relay was experiencing too much lag time. Fix that now. <laughs> Instant button. Are there any cinnamon rolls left? Focus. Well, all of your equations were right, but the hardware was wrong. I just moved a few of her pieces around. All your math shut up. Now, <laughs> did you get a haircut? In the last 10 minutes? No, mm -hmm. I did not get a haircut. Mm -hmm. Your hair looks different. Are you sure? Quite sure. Son of a bitch. What did he do? Well... If this is all right, something very, very helpful. She finally showed up. Who? What? Oh my god. Holy shit, this might actually work. Skull fucked as you are, you are the most brilliant electrician and programmer I have ever met. <laughs> Electrician's a fun word. <laughs> Less direct <sighs> stimulation for you. Mm -hmm. What's going on in here? Hey, buddy. What do you smell like outside? Keystone. Naturally. And rolling. Oh, that's brave. Ugh.
Anyone want to tell me what the hell is going on? It's a long story. Mark? Seriously. It's a long story. Okay, just once? I'd like for something to be a short story. Just one time! You and Jason may have fixed our little problem. We have little problems? What? You telling me that Timothy Leary on the couch over there managed to crack the code you couldn't crack? It was not a coding issue, okay? It, 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 it was a mechanical issue. The coding is just fine. I'm still not entirely sure what he fixed. The coding was right. Okay. What did he fix? Well, if this works, we should be able to use the machine without any violent repercussions. It won't even hurt. It still hurts? Pain is necessary for growth. <laughs> Go check on him, please. Right. How'd it go with Katie? Not bad, huh? Not good. It was not good what happened. Want to do your Hannibal Lecter impression? Did you? No, I did. I've only done that one time, okay? It was one time freshman year. I did that to one girl. And you time. keep thinking, look, can we just focus on what's going on right now, please? Because then maybe we can yes. go to the oh, future. Okay. Instead of into the past. Okay. Guys, okay. Of course. Guys, could somebody give me that bag of pills on top of the monitor? Now? Please? Hurry? Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. There you go. Chill. Chill. Is he okay? <laughs> He's fine. He doesn't look fine. Is that X? Yes. I'll be fine. <laughs> okay, you seriously need to tell me what's going on. He's fine. He's hemorrhaging on your fucking floor, Mark. Fine in a couple minutes. Not like the floor hasn't seen any worse. <laughs> Are we losing sight of the big picture here? Or just the big picture here? You see? He's fine. Okay, let's try this. Now, volunteers? Now? Yeah, right now, when everything's in alignment. The stars are in alignment. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, you're not going. But she's used to me. I'll go. You sure? Yeah, I mean, if all the nasty bits have been resolved, you guys have gone through plenty without issues. <sighs> you're beautiful. Mostly without issues. Are you seriously thinking about using this thing? God, I mean, look at Jason, for Christ's sakes. Oh, look at me! Since when were you concerned with anybody's well-being but your own? Let's do this! Where am I going? Backyard again. Okay, ready? Ready! Do it! Hit it, motherfucker! You are the man! I am a man! You are the man! Yeah. I wonder how it felt. Alright. Is he, Mark? I don't know. Shut up. Let me think for a second. I can hear all the crickets. Jason can hear all the crickets. Shh, shut up, please. Does he have a cell? No. He can't take cell phones through. Then where is he? Jesus. I don't know. Fuckers are loud. Let's get you some more. Okay. <laughs> no, I haven't. Oh, 
just call me if you see him, okay? Boom. <laughs> it's a long story. Boring. I'm hungry. Amazing. Good morning. Your loss. When was the last time he took his medicine? About an hour ago. He's okay for now. Okay is a bit of a relative term. Did we kill him? I don't think so. Then where is he? I don't know. Emmy. Where is he from? Andrew? Yeah. Uh, Connecticut, I think? What are the chances that he ended up there? Extremely motherfucking unlikely. <clears throat> I fade in and out sometimes. How many of these have I eaten? Four. Mm. Feels like five. Jesus, fuck! For a Robinson, actually. You seem to have spilled a little. A little, yeah. You remember my associates, Jones and Doyle. One of those. Can I interest you in some coffee before I call the police? I would advise against that. You may find the response time insufficient. Of all the days to forget my rape whistle. You may be wondering... Why I'm in your house, Mr. Stevens? <laughs> I still can't believe this shit really happens. So you aren't curious? Resigned, really. I've been driving around all night. I'm a little sleepy. Driving around? As always, it's a long story. I see. Well, I'll just get right down to it. My associates and I have discussed your proposal. I never made one. And these two don't look like the discussing type. Different associates. Anyway, we've discussed your situation, and uh, 
We'd like to make an offer for your device. What device? Your sense of humor is, as always, the reason we are so excited to do business with you. Most people find it irritating. I can't imagine why. I hope you'll find this satisfactory. This offer comes with a confidentiality agreement, naturally. And you and your partners would forfeit all licensing and patent rights to the product and would be owned and operated entirely by us. Is anything wrong? The offer. Doyle, your assistance, please. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, what that won't do. I seem to have forgotten a zero at the end here. Much better, no? I assume you'll want to discuss this with your partners. I figure 72 hours should be enough. We'll find you. Obviously. How's it going in here? I'm making progress. Clearly. How's Jason? Yeah, he's sleeping as only the finest narcotics will allow. We have to talk. Yeah, can we do it later? I have almost got it. This is kind of important. Yeah, so is this. Mark. What? What is it that's so important? What is this, Spain's operating budget? It's an offer. An offer on what? Did you tell somebody about the machine? No. Then how can we have an offer on it? Chad contacted an outside source about what we were doing in here. Jesus Christ! It wasn't my idea, Mark. I told Chad it was bullshit, but he had already, already put it out there. And now there's this guy, this Aryan-looking motherfucker, and he knows about it. He knows about this machine and, and what it does. Nobody was supposed to know about the machine until we had it figured out. Alan, until I had it figured out. I know out. that. I know. Well, can we stall him? I mean, can, can we hide it? No, there's nothing we can do. He knows about this machine, and he wants it. And that's what he's willing to give us for it. For the whole thing. The whole thing? We would give up any credit. We would give up. Are you fucking kidding? No, wait Absolutely a minute, Mark. Not. Think about this for a no, minute. No, no. You're not thinking I'm not about giving this, this up. There's a bigger bullshit. There's a bigger picture here, Mark. No, there is not. Did you see this number? Did you see it? 
you have any idea what we could do with that kind of money? The, the things that we could do? The things we could do? Look at what we've done. We've already done it. We have this thing, this, the most important piece of electronics probably in human history, and you just want to give it away and start something else? That's ridiculous! It's not just about the money. No, it's not. It's about discovery. It's about finding things that only we can. And I am so close. We are so close. I've almost figured it out. Don't even. I know that face. You don't think I can do it? Can't do what? You don't think I can figure it out? Why Andrew's disappeared, why it won't work properly, you don't think I can do it. What the hell are you talking about? Look, I just need a little more time with it. Really, I am so close. I have almost got it. I am not going to let you give this away to somebody. Not until I've figured it out. It's as much mine as it is yours. I can't believe you, Alan. I really fucking can't. You are so fucking obsessed with carving out your own little branch on the family tree. I'm obsessed. Yeah, you are. Look at you, Mark. You haven't slept. This place is a goddamn mess. You're no closer to having this thing nailed down than when we started. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you! And don't you fucking bring my family to this. Don't you fucking do that. It's exactly what this is about. It's your fucking legacy. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, look at me. Oh, poor little rich boy. I can't handle the shadow, so I'm fucking... <laughs> That's it. That's what I was waiting for. You see, this, this is what happens when you run out of things to say. (laughs) You're just a spoiled bully who didn't get his way. That's why you won't use the machine, too. It's not because you're afraid it's going to hurt. It's because you know that you break everything you touch. not about that. Oh yeah? What is it about? You're better than me. What? <laughs> Come on, Mark. You're better than me. Smarter too. All of you are. The raver upstairs included. I mean, I came here looking to study something I wasn't prepared for. Just because I wanted to try something different. I wanted to prove that I could. But I never had the aptitude for this shit. But here is my chance to do something, Mark. To do something memorable. And I bought every bolt and washer in this fucking thing. So I'll sell it to whoever I damn well please. Yeah, you may. But I designed it. Jason built it. All of the blueprints are on my phone or on my computer. You go to sell this thing and I will send it to every tech website. I'll put your baby on Facebook so that anybody can access it. That would be pretty fucking memorable. Chad, Alan, no you aren't, you little bitch. Your schedule just cleared up. Listen, God, if you say one more goddamn word about your thesis, I'm gonna shove a fucking beaker up your ass. Now shut up. Shut up! I need Robinson. 
Well, it was easy enough for you to get in contact with him when you had something to gain, Chad. So crawl back into whatever hole you had to to find this guy and have him call me. ASAP, motherfucker! Right here. Of all the massively inappropriate shit. Oh, bitch! I said ASAP, did I not? What? Okay, GG, stop. Two days is far from ASAP. Now bring me to him. <sighs> shit. We'll put our projections for the third quarter at approximately 250 more. Franchises. Hey, Bobby. Do you remember me? You broke into my house. Excuse me, everyone. We will uh, take 10 and um, resume in a moment. Hey. Hello, Mr. Stevens. Chad. Nice of you to bring him here. Is this a bad time, Bobby? It's before our deadline, anyway. Maybe this isn't the best place to have this discussion, Mr. Stevens. Right, there's a lot more people in here than last time, Bobby. Do they all call you Bobby, too? I need you to keep your voice down. What are you doing here? What is he doing here? He slapped me. I did. I did do that, and it felt amazing. Listen, I know you said never to come here without your permission, but it seemed like a pretty good time. Oh, we'll discuss what it's like later, at great length. I have a counter offer for you. I am not willing to discuss this with you here. Well, then I'll make it quick. I left my best friend's house the other night really fucking angry. Angrier than I've ever been. Angry enough to seek you out and tell you that our machine was all yours. I mean, <laughs> hell, I would have given it away at that point just out of spite. But after some thought, I realized what kind of a friend would I be if I just let a little snit lead me to betray him? A snit? Oh! A really shitty one, that's right. So, respectfully, I am rejecting your offer with an addendum to shove it up your Nazi ass. We'll have it, Alan. One way or another. Hey, look, it remembers my name. Over my dead body. Interesting choice of words. Oh, man, this is bad. This is really bad, man. Relax. Yeah, well, you don't understand. I shouldn't have brought you here. He works really hard to keep up appearances. Why are you so afraid of this clown? He's a company man, Chad. Like all company men, he's totally pushed. I hate you, Alan. I really do. Well, I probably should have expected this. You scared me. You're noisy. What are you doing awake? You're noisy. Didn't I just say Did that? Did you take your medicine? I'll load it up, sailor. <sighs> I feel terrible to admit that I am relieved. There's a circle on the floor. Astute. Yeah, I'm just trying to adjust a few things. Any sign of... Uh... Andrew. His name is Andrew. And no. Did you check the elevators? No, man, I didn't check the elevators. We don't have elevators. Look, there's a bunch of Gatorade behind you. Please drink as much of it as you possibly can. Alan, Jesus, I know you're pissed, but it doesn't mean you can go fucking stomping around. Oh. Give me that chair. You said there was Gatorade in here, I don't see Quiet. it. Holy shit. What happened? Alan happened. Uh, hi, who the fuck are you? Good evening. Good evening. Who the fuck are you? Uh, 
How rude of me not to introduce myself. I'm Robinson, the man who's offered your little dipshit of an associate so spectacularly rejected earlier today. So which one of you is Mark? So, which one of you is Mark? That would be me. Thank you. So that must make this eerily cheerful gentleman, Mr. Short. I'm Jason. Fair enough. May I interject here? You may not. I'm sorry, it's just that the guns and the shooting and everything were surrounded by some very delicate equipment, and I think... Jesus Christ! I do not give a tin fuck about your shitty little operation. What I need is your software and his blueprints, and I'll need both of those things relatively quickly. You don't want the machine? This piece of shit? No, I don't. Just the plans. Chop, chop. I assume you've had a look at your friends. My boys can be very persuasive. Fair enough. That's what I said. Quickly, please. Mark, wait, you don't have to give him sh Jesus, Alan, shut up! Mark. Yes, Jason. Why does everything look different? What do you mean? The machine. Uh, just ignore him, he's rolling. He's what? He's on drugs. How old are you exactly? Kindly stop fucking around. What's different? Her dress. She looks different. Jason, shut up. You shut up. You're done talking. I thought you said the machine looked different. She does. Well, who is she? Jason! Ah, God damn it! What's taking so long? It's uploading. Uh, before you take this, I thought maybe I should run you through some things, like some of the idiosyncrasies about No, no, no. About I want to hear what the little might... stoner has to say. Well, suit yourself, Alan. The machine's a she. How is she different? She changed her dress. She used to be slim. Now she's not. What? I like your cologne. Focus! You're right, Alan. I'm obsessed. I am, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry, man. I went behind your back, that was shitty. Enough makeup, sex. Shut the fuck up, both of you. What does that mean, her dress looks slimmer? Mm. Well, she has sleeves now. You know that I need to know everything about everything. Plans, now! Don't sell yourself short. He made something incredible. Or her shoes are on the wall, anyway. Well, looks like somebody else is gonna have to figure out how she works. How no, it works. Stop fucking around and give me those plans now. Hey, a gun. Oh, you've all got guns. Oh, geez, looks like I may have accidentally uploaded the plans directly to the internet. I have such a problem with buttons. Alan does it, though. Alan's great at pushing buttons. You did what? The internet? Don't push the button, Alan. <laughs> What to do, Jason? I did something? Yeah. Neat. Where did they go? I don't know, man. I really don't know. I never figured it out. You let go of your baby. Yeah. And there may be some consequences. There have been many sightings of people appearing out of thin air in Melbourne and surrounding areas. La policía continúa investigando. Investigators are still investigating. Thank you, Tom. Several eyewitnesses have confirmed this remarkable story, one of several incidents popping up all over the nation. One lucky bystander was able to capture the incident on his cell phone. Thank 
Difficult to believe, I know, but we will have more on this developing story throughout the evening. Greetings. Do I know you? It's all the credit. Then he gets pissy every time I touch the damn thing. Do you accept rubies? Okay, so that about covers it. Obviously, we were in a little bit of a jam. Not jam, you put us in. You push the button. You said push it. No, I said don't push the button. Same thing. We Why are these people still using that thing anyway? Doesn't that hurt like a motherfucker? Anyway, we obviously didn't have enough time to consider the consequences of releasing the schematics onto the internet. And many of you have been taking advantage of what the machine can do, and I strongly urge you to dismantle your machine. It has been untested. Untested? <laughs> My ass. Shut up. It has been untested and has unintended side effects. Damn, I hope you all saved up your ecstasy money, because that shit gets expensive. Seriously, Jason is still... Yeah, and Andrew's... You see that red button? Uh-huh. Don't push it.
time they served in the war together, the skipper would still whack him on the head with his little hat. Please shut up. And they were able to build all kinds of amazing shit out of bamboo and palm fronds, like houses and cars and whatnot. But they were never able to build a working raft. You can't just make up a television show and expect me to believe you. It was a real show, I swear to God. It was on in the 60s. Whatever. I hate you. Oh, my God.